We are going to make a base of a VEX robot using Onshape. And this is what it'll look like right here when we're done. Okay, that's just the base. Um, what you should see in your Onshape when it says shared with me, if you click shared with me right here, uh, you will see this file. So you can right click on here and go to copy workspace and you can give it a name vex robot base okay and it should open right up so right here there's nothing here we have to go to the assembly click down here on assembly in the bottom and I've included one piece of each thing that you need now before we start there's one weird Maybe not weird, but the wheel is actually two pieces. Okay, so before we before we start doing stuff, we have to mate these to begin with. So the two mates we're going to use today are this fastened mate where we don't want things to move, and then for this, uh, since we're going to have gears and wheels, we're going to have the revolute mate. Okay, so we're going to use these two right here. So first I'm going to use this one because I want this to fasten. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to kind of zoom in here. I'm selecting the outer part of the wheel, but you can see the target spot there in the center. That's what I want, that target spot in the center. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to also go to uh, this part and wait for, you know what, maybe I can, there, oh, there, I went right there. You kind of have to move the cursor around a little bit until you get the right spot you want. And that's going to solve that. And I'm going to just click the green check mark here. And now I'm going to double check to make sure that that moves together. It does. Now these two little pieces, you know, if we were doing a, a very detailed, exactly correct model, you know, those little pieces go in here and help the, help the wheel spin on the axle. But I'd say for this, we don't really need to worry about that. Okay, so now I have a wheel that won't fall apart on me, which is good. And I have a gear. I'm going to move that over here. Um, this piece is the front and the back. So what I'm going to be building is this base right here. These are the drawings that I've linked for you. Um, this is the, the drawings on how to create um, the, the VEX robot. This piece right here is the front, and it also is going to go on the back. And then these are the, the rails right here. Okay. So let's, I'm going to turn this so it's facing kind of this way. I'm going to create my robot so it's, it's facing uh, this way. Okay. Now this, I obviously have both of these selected. So to undo that, I have to click outside of here to deselect. So I'm going to put this one and I'm going to rotate it a little bit so it's kind of fitting the right fit. fit so it's kind of in the right orientation, okay? And I'm going to want this one to go here now. When I rotate, oh, that's actually pretty close to where it's supposed to go, okay? So if I were actually building this, I would have put a screw or a bolt through here to here, okay? Now, if I get close to this one, I'm going to pick my um, fasten mate here. If I get close, there's all kinds of spots I can choose. Each one of these little little white circles is a spot I can choose. Okay, um, If I go to here, that's great. Uh, there, there's no, like when I'm here, I could click on the center, like that's where the bolt would go. But over here, there's no center, or actually there probably is a center. It's probably in the center here. Yeah, see? But that isn't the same center, is it? So I'm going to just line up this bottom here with the bottom here, but on the other side. Okay, I have to turn this because this part here wants to touch this part here. So I'm going to click there and click the green check mark. And see, you, I'm zoomed in pretty close here so you can see that fit right up next to it. It's perfect. Now, if we were really building this, we might put another bolt through here or we might put another bolt through here. But since we're just doing this right now in on shape just to, to put it together, really one spot's all you need. Okay, so that's perfect. And I like to use this 
little, here's the view cube here, the big view cube. I like to click on this little one and go to isometric. And that always shows me kind of where, how I'm building and how it looks and where it is. And you know what? At some point, I'm going to right click on this main piece and fix this so it doesn't move. Okay, so I just fixed that one piece. So everything attached to here shouldn't move now. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm drawing right now. If I look at this right here, I can see this. The one I just put in on the end is here in the end, and then it skips a hole and goes to the next hole. So I'm going to select that piece, and on my keyboard, I'm going to do Control, Control C, Control V to copy and paste. If you're on an Apple computer, it's Command C or Command and Command V. So I just copied that. Now I'm going to click on here and I can rotate this around because this one faces the other direction. Okay. And now this one is similar. It's going to go, you know, let me back that up a little bit. So I'm going to do another mate here, another fasten mate. And I'm going to go again here to the bottom of that. And then I'm going to go to the bottom of, okay, I went a little crooked there, but that's okay. Uh, skip a hole and go to this one right here. So right there. I know that's a little crooked, but when it fastens it, it goes in out nice and straight. So sometimes you get all weird and you're not, not sure how to get it back. That's why I like this cube right here. I click on this cube and go to isometric. Boink! Puts it right where I want it. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm just going to do the first half. Because I think you guys, once I do the first half, you guys can do the second half. All right. So what I'm going to do now is um, if you attach the uh, gear right to the wheel, the it's too close and they hit. So we're going to put the gear on here first and then the spacer and then the wheel. And I'm going to assemble this first and then I'm going to attach the whole thing to this. Just And I'll tell you why because um, I can go and attach each gear to here and then come back and attach the wheels to here and then come back and attach the spacer here. But if I build one first, I can actually select the whole thing and copy and paste it. So I don't know if it's cheating or not, but it's definitely, uh, it'll go faster. The gear goes on first, and then the spacer, and then the wheel. Now again, we're not putting all the bearings and all the bolts and all the axles and all the extra stuff. We're just doing kind of the minimum here. Okay, so I'm going to attach this spacer to the wheel. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on here. And this this um, is not going to spin. This is going to be attached. If we were really building this, the spacer would not be attached to this. But since we're going to do it in here, I'm going to attach it. I'm going to attach the spacer to the wheel, and I'm going to attach the gear to the spacer so that the whole thing spins as one unit. So when we, when we finish the gear part, it'll all work. Okay, so I'm going to use the fasten mate. And I'm going to move it around till I see there's the middle. Click. And then I have to get the this middle of there. There's the middle. Oh, there's the middle there. Click. And solve or... Okay, so that's there. Now, you know what? I'm a little zoomed in, so I'm going to use this isometric here to back up a little bit. I'm going to move this out of the way, move the gear here, maybe rotate the gear a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to attach this side here to this side here. Okay, and I'm going to do this uh, solid also. I'm going to fasten this so it doesn't move. Okay, so zoom into the center. There's the center of that. And there's the center of that. And I'm going to click on this one. There we go. Okay. Now that's all one piece. Okay. Now all I'm, I'm now before I do this, before I attach this, I'm going to select this whole thing. I'm going to click and drag and select all that stuff. And I'm going to do uh, command or control. 
copy paste. So now I have another one, and that's already already done. Okay, and I think I can just hit paste again. There we go, paste and paste one more time. So now I have all four of my wheels done. Okay, save me a little time there. Okay, all right. So we're going to now um, attach this to. If we look over here. You can see there's an empty hole there. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see where the wheel is going to go. There's an empty spot, there's a bolt there, and there's an empty spot where the axle goes. So it's a third hole in. Third hole in from each side. So I'm going to go to here and go one, two, three to this one. And this one I want to spin, so I'm going to pick the Revolute Mate. It's kind of a funny word, huh? Revolute. So. Uh, there's one, two, three right there. Click. There you go. Click. There it went. You can tell when it that turns. Okay, and then right there. Click. And click the green check mark. Okay. I do go to isometric here. Now, when I grab this, I can. It spins. Come on. There. Spin. And I don't know if you can tell that the the gear is moving with it. Okay, so every that whole that whole unit is moving as one. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here uh, with this uh, Revolute Mate. One, two, three. Just kind of move this around a little bit until I get in the right place. Oh, there it went. Sometimes the more you zoom in, the more of these show up. There we go. Click. Okay, I gotta zoom out to get this one. And same thing right there in the center. Click. I th oh, it did. Okay, good. So it looked like that wasn't attached, but it moved the gear, and then when I clicked, it kind of fixed everything. Okay, so that's there, that's there. So I got those two wheels. i put these two over here. We don't need these right now. Okay. And we need another gear in there. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can just select. Can I just come here and select the gear? Yes. And Control C, Control V. So this gear is going to go in that middle hole right there. Okay, so another Revolute Mate. I'm going to zoom in on that hole right there. Do, 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 do. There, got that one. I didn't get it. Got it. Click again. There we go, got that one. And now I'll turn that so I can see. Click, got that. And solve that. Okay. All right, now here comes the cool part. So if I spin this right now, okay. It's working well now. See how that all spins together? This spins together. This one spins. And that one spins. I can't. I can't drag it over here. It just spins, which is supposed to do. So let's make it so it's like for real, like a real gear. Watch. I'm going to click on this gear relation icon up here. Click. And now over here, these. So these are the parts that I made. And normally, if you were doing lots of stuff, you would name these. You'd click on it and name this, you know, front wheel, back wheel, right wheel, whatever. Um, and these are the mates we've been using. So I'm going to kind of zoom in here so I can see what happens. And I'm going to hover over this. And you can see, watch watch right here. When I hover there, you'll see the Revolute mate show up. You see the little blue thing and it's showing which way it's spinning. So I'm going to click there. Click. And you see right here that just showed up. That one's going to be there, and now let's connect it to this green one here. And oh, that's well, we can do this one. So Revolute Two is showing right there. Do you see it right there? So if I click there, boom, and I click the green check mark, and now watch, it just connected those. So when I turn this, see how that moves? Yay, cool. Okay, and now we'll do the same thing with these two. So I'll click on the gear relation again. And I already know two is the middle one, don't I? Oh, no, that's wrong. 
sorry, that's the middle one. And all I'm doing is looking for that little blue circle um, icon that shows up when I hover. So that one, and I gotta make sure that it shows up right here. That one connected to, not that one, but that one, click. And it shows those two are connected. And the relation here is one. So this is a one-to-one, -one, so it just goes normally. And that's the default, so all you have to do is click here, click. Now if I turn one wheel, the whole thing works. Yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? Okay, and then you guys can do the other side. Okay, cool. Yay.